Welcome to downtown Fort Worth, Texas. This is the first stop in our 10-stop walking tour of downtown Fort Worth. It was a great Saturday morning and we found 10 great stops. And this is where we started at the Tarrant County Courthouse. Oh, as soon as we got out of the car, this lady said, Hey, the guy on the mower just told us it's free parking on weekends. That's a great thing. Thanks, Fort Worth. You made our visit easier. Oh, look at that new world building behind this old world looking structure. Isn't that awesome? The Tarrant County Courthouse was built in the Renaissance Revival style with pink Texas granite in 1893 and completed in 1895. Only two years to build this beautiful structure. And the clock tower? Oh, that thing's impressive. I wonder why. Well, I can tell you why. In 2012, it had a $4.5 million renovation. We walked completely around this gorgeous structure on this windy, beautiful Saturday morning. What I find interesting as a researcher is to find inconsistencies. Where I had found that this structure was built of pink Texas granite, this sign says it's red Texas granite. You decide, is this granite red or is it pink? If you like architecture and you want to see more old world architecture, go to my architecture playlist. There's other videos there that you'll certainly enjoy. I think it's pink, and I think it's absolutely gorgeous. And they had this lovely flower bed. Spring is here. Have you subscribed yet? You know, as we were walking around, this old school sign caught my attention. Joe Dacey's Credit Jewelers. Hey, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks. Tarrant County. Hmm. I never knew who Tarrant County was named after. A bit of great Texas history. 1784 to 1815. Since it was organized in August of 1850, and it was named for General Edward H. Tarrant. It's always interesting to read these historical markers. General Edward H. Tarrant. He was born in 1796 and he died at Fort Belknap in 1858. He was a veteran of War of 1812. Wow. Active in Battle of New Orleans? Wow, that's Old Hickory's Battle. Do you remember that song? He was a veteran of the Texas War of Independence in 1836. You'll want to watch my videos on Sam Houston and the San Jacinto Monument and the Battleship Texas. Those are some of my most popular videos. He was the commander of the Ranger Forces of Northwest Frontier in 1837 and a representative from the Red River District in Congress of Texas Republic in 1838 and the general of the Texas Militia defeating Indians at Village Creek in 1841. This was one bold guy, wasn't he? We found a couple of other historical things on the property. One was this marker about the the Texas Christian University, and this fountain. I was more intrigued by this fountain. It says, it's in honor of my maternal grandfather, Samuel Benton Canty, 1861 to 1924, who watered his horse at this fountain. That's interesting. Good masters, ah, his will earned to do, ye humble beastie guy, justice and mercy's blessings flow, nay less for him than ye. Interesting. It says that this horse fountain was rededicated June 4th, 1999. Well, that's nice. I think the horse's name is Pennysworth. Regardless, it was a beautiful little fountain and the clock tower. It's a beauty, isn't it? All right, stop two will be next. It's a condominium complex with fossils on each of the four sides of the base of the building. You won't want to miss that. Flip-flops on the ground. Unclassic road trip. 